Hey guys, good morning. It's 1 p.m. in the afternoon. Yeah. Um, I need to start waking up earlier. <laughs> hey, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, what are you doing? Subscribe. Anyways, um, so welcome back to my channel today. Um, I have like weirdly kind of like a day off. If you don't know, Kennedy moved back to Ottawa, which has been very, very sad, and I have been spending a lot of time with myself. And at first when she left, I was like, oh my god, I'm not gonna be able to do this, I'm gonna be so sad, I'm gonna be so miserable, I'm gonna be so lonely. And then I realized, now, don't get me wrong, Kennedy, I love you, and I miss her dearly. But I'm not as lonely as I thought I was gonna be. I decided tonight, what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna take myself on a date. Yes. I know that sounds crazy, but I'm a little bit crazy. No. <laughs> no, 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 I'm gonna do it. I think that I deserve to treat myself a little bit. Um, basically, I have the whole apartment to myself until tomorrow. Um, so I decided why not take advantage. I'm gonna make myself a nice meal. Maybe I'll get a haircut. I'm gonna dress up, set a candle at dinner. All, all of that good stuff. But I'm gonna do that later tonight. Actually, I should probably book my hair appointment. Wait, 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 do it again, do it again. Hello. Say hello. Anyways, okay. So I just finished, just finished up my breakfast. Um, and so it is like 1.30. I think I'm gonna do a little at home workout. I've been trying to accomplish a Chloe Ting challenge, which y'all will see in another video, but I think I'll do that. Ooh, I have to book my hair appointment. Okay. So, y'all, I'm like really big on my hair, and I know it does not seem like it recently because my hair has been a wild mess, but I really do care a lot about it. Um, I'll put pictures of what it looked like before. Um, it looked crazy sometimes, but I feel like I've developed over the years. You know, I've been blonde, for a hot minute. Before that, it was kind of ginger because I tried to do it by myself and it did not look so good. Um, anyway, so I haven't gotten my hair cut in Vancouver yet because last time I had to get my hair cut, I was back home in Ottawa for Christmas, so it was kind of perfect and I could see the people that I know and trust, but now I'm trying to find a new hairstylist and it's kind of scary. And I also don't want to spend a lot, a lot of money and I'm used to working at a hair salon where I got a discount. The term <laughs> I know, first world problems. But I'm gonna call this place, they kind of, they're really close to my apartment and it's like an all men's hair salon, which I think is kind of cool. So I'm gonna give them a call and see if they have any availability for today. Hi, um, I was wondering if you have any last minute availability for do you have any junior stylists? I'm booked! Booked for a haircut at 4 o'clock. Um, but it's kind of scary. They asked for my credit card number, so I guess if you're like late or like no show, they charge you. Which, I'm not going to be late. Hopefully. Well, I'm not going to be late, but then also I'm not going to not show up. But that's just scary. I've never like... Aha! Okay, so I'm going to look up how long of a walk it is. It's like a 5 minute walk from here. But I cannot be late. I cannot afford to lose 25%. Um, it's a five minute walk. But I'm gonna be there early. Anyways, okay. So how many hours do I have? Two, three, 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 four. Before I go, I want to work out. I uh, do a little Chloe Ting moment. And then I want to post my YouTube video because this week has literally been crazy and I have not been able to post as often. I know also no one cares when my videos go up except for me, but I just want to be on a consistent schedule, which I'm almost there. I'm getting there. 
Um, okay, so I'm gonna edit my video, do my Chloe, and then get my hair cut. Ah, I'll see y'all after. And... Okay, so... Let's see our queen. She's ready to... Ready to whip me into shape for the day. I got to get to my hair appointment. I have to leave here in 10 minutes. Just finished my workout. My workouts have been getting better. I'm proud of myself. I had a couple interruptions today, but whatever. I got my hair cut. Um, I like it. I think it's different. It's a little shorter. Yeah, no, I think I like it. I'm kind of feeling myself a little bit. Probably will take a thirst trap. New haircut. <laughs> so right now, I am getting to the date part of the video. I was thinking like spaghetti, uh, spaghetti and meatballs kind of vibe, but I don't do meatballs because I'm a pescatarian. So I'm gonna do like tofu. And I'm gonna try and do breaded tofu. We will see how it goes. Pasta time. Let me show you guys my tofu. I feel like it looks kind of crazy, but also like kind of promising, right? Jesus, take the wheel. Hopefully it works. Here's the pasta. Uh, I feel like there's nothing better than a little, a little romantic first date pasta, a little lady in the tramp moment. That's kind of cute. Okay, so I've made my dinner, mm, and it's, I don't know if it's made. It might not be the best dinner ever, but like, it's done, whatever. I need to get dressed for my date. So, um, now, uh, I had this really cute sweater that I was kind of thinking I should wear, but it's not clean, so I don't have it in my laundry in a minute, so I don't have as many options to work with, but I'm sure my day won't mind. As long as he feels good, it's okay. I'm ready. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, what if we do a little section where I, you know how like before you go on a date with someone, you like call your friends? What if I call my friends and prank them that I'm going on a date right now? Hey. Wait, Danby, I have to go soon, but guess what? I'm about to go on a date! Huh? I know. Becky. This guy that I've been talking to. I, so, like, I started talking to him like, when I got to Vancouver. But, like, I don't know, it was really serious and I didn't really, I was really into it at first. And then he was like, this is what I want to make for you tonight. Come over. I was like... Ah! <laughs> I was like... Oh. Yeah, so it's a little bit of a... <laughs> yeah, his name is uh, Alex Debrida. Huh? I'm going on a date with myself. Oh my! <laughs> Murder. I am dead. Okay, well, girl. Anyways, yes, I'm just going on a date with myself. That's my YouTube video. I just thought it would be kind of funny to call someone. Yeah, I really ran out of ideas there. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> Always have a backup plan. For me, if I'm going on a first date with a guy, 
unless I know them beforehand, I don't know if I want to commit to a full dinner. I don't know if I want to, because the thing is, is what if appetizers, he's horrible and I don't like the conversation. I have to figure out a getaway because trust me, I'm not the kind of person who's gonna sit through a painfully awkward like two hour meal with some guy. I always make sure I have like an exit strategy, but then also like a suggestion of like an activity to do because the whole game of like, hey, let's hang out or let's go out on a date, what do you wanna do? And then you say, oh, I don't know what I wanna do. And then they're like, well, whatever you wanna do. Like, no, 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 no. First of all, if someone asks you what do you wanna do, I feel like giving them options is the least you can do. Also, if they're not giving you options back, that's fucking lame, I'm sorry. But like, tell me what you wanna do because at the end of the day, we could be doing anything. We could be freaking like rolling around in the grass and it should be enjoyable because I just want to spend time with you, right? Like, it's really not about the activity we're doing. I feel like on first date, it's about getting to know the person. Also, movies, I feel like are shit first dates. Anyways, let me show you my always backup activity plan, which is a great first date thing. This right here is the holy grail. Literally, no, this is perfect for going on first dates. This is my secret weapon. Whenever I go on a first date, I always make sure to bring this because also even just going out with friends is kind of fun to bring. But um, it's just like good. It's basically just a bunch of dating questions. But it's just like interesting. I think you just learn a lot about people. Like Now, one time I went out with this guy and this wasn't even like a date. This was more kind of just like meeting and everything. But it wasn't really going great. So I pulled this out, okay? Because basically he wasn't asking me any questions, okay? And so I pull this out and we got through the whole deck and honestly, by the end of the deck, I was like, okay, he's cool. This posture is gross. You win some, you lose some. I feel like I've earned a bath. Hey guys, okay, well, thank you for going on a date with me, with myself. Guess who's here? Hi! So, I love you guys, thank you for watching.